Hi, hi there, hello, how are you? I am doing amazingly, I hope you are as well. Today is one of my absolute favorite videos of all time to ever do. I try to do them a couple times per year, but they're basically like P.O. Box hauls. Um, a lot of it is subscriber-owned brands or books that they've written, small businesses, and I've totally fallen in love with everything that I've ever received. It's just a very feel-good feeling video. If you just want to hang out for a little while, please consider hitting subscribe and staying for a bit. Today may be like a little bit chattier or, or talkative, I guess, of that's the same thing. Yeah, I have like nine or ten different packages over here, so I figured I'll just grab something and then we'll unbox it and I may have to look up some things because I don't know what's here. So first up here is something that lands in my P.O. box quite often, and this is by Nail Shack. This is a subscription box, so once a month you're going to get our subscription bag. <laughs> once a month you're going to get um, some of those uh, nail polish strips. Like, they're not stickers, and I, I always call them stickers, because that's kind of like what they what they feel like, but they're like the nail polish strips, you know? What's really neat about it is that you can get it for your adult fingers, you can also get it for your adult toes. Oh god, the sun came out, and now I have the sneezies. They also have a subscription level for kids, and I think that one's like $8.50 or $9 or something a month, and the adult ones are like $10 or something a month. Super duper cool, so it always comes... Um, with one of these like cuticle guys that are like malleable so you can smash it all around and then also a file so that you can shape it to the correct length of your nail. This one's very summery so we have like a solid purple one. This one is pink but oh my god I love this one even more. It, it's like a pinky purple and it has like glitter all the way throughout. I gotta turn the light down so that you guys can appreciate this one. Look at how cool that is like a rainbow, tie-dye rainbow, and it's also like kind of iridescent. And then we have this one, which is like a light pink with gold glitter. Yeah, it also comes with the instructions every single time. I did a video on it. I will link it down below so you guys can see like the application. But um, it's found on CrateJoy, so I'll have the link for it down below as well. And they last a good couple weeks, and you can just take them off with nail polish remover, and they come off very easily. What was that? It just looked like a bird like straight up fell down. Weird. All right, let's move into this bag that I got. And this is from St. Lucia. I would love to go there. I have a note in here. I hope this package finds you well. I recently got hooked onto your channel and I love the fact that you promote women and women-owned businesses and I am even more stoked that you are a reader. I have included a copy of my book for you and two extra copies, one for you, one for your bestie, ah, and one for a subscriber giveaway. If you love it, I would love for you to recommend it to your friends and subscribers. Also as a suggestion, because you do so many unboxings, it would be great to do a video of your favorite subscription box finds, an honest review perhaps after six months. That is a really good idea. Okay, so then we have a couple books in there, and this is the My Life Interpreted, How I Discovered the Keys to Fulfillment Within My Everyday Experiences, which sounds right up my alley. Oh, it's signed on the inside. I'm gonna cry about it. Oh, this is like a thing. Okay, so I've been collecting books that are signed that are um, written by my subscribers, my viewers, my followers, my friends, um, that I, I get them signed. It says, Life is Short, Bloom Wherever You're Planted from Wanda. Are all of them? Oh, they are all signed. Oh, that's wonderful. This is a book to help you move forward and find happiness in your life, which I am like seriously all about. It's even just like a tiny blurb here at the bottom. It says, the keys to a more fulfilling life are found inside us all. Octave shows us quite effortlessly how we can access these answers and live more fully. Thank you, Wanda, so much for my books. This will be my very next read. I will definitely be giving one to Kelsey. She is definitely in this in this mindset of her life right now where um, we need to find, you know, like the happiness to continue to move forward. So it's very thoughtful. I'm going to cry about it. Somebody asked me in a recent video if I was a cancer because I am so sen sensitive and I'm an empath and I'm emotional about things very easily and yes I am a cancer smack dab right in the middle of cancer season that's me <gasps> I have a card oh my god okay so this is by Holly you guys don't have to send me anything ever um, but I keep all of my cards and everything that I've ever ever received from anybody even like small snippets I've taken cuts 
like of um, packaging to save, which I don't know if that's weird, but, but like I really do appreciate it so much. It's such like an uplifting, happy thing. I don't know. I just absolutely love it. Okay, so Holly, the comment queen on Insta. I'm so sorry to hear about the loss of Asher. Oh, I said this was going to be a happy video, but here I am stopping. Um, for those that don't know, I donate my eggs to my best friend. My best friend was pregnant and she made it to 19 weeks in four days. Okay, I have toilet paper. Grief is such a heavy weight to carry, but yet this reminder that we love someone dearly. Asher is deeply loved forever. Days won't change that. I will continue to pray for your best friend and her husband. And then there was also a sticker in here that says, I will find the light even when the dark is heavy. And it's so true. And um, I actually have a couple of these mason jars with the fairy lights out on my back patio. And I don't know if you knew that, um, Holly, but it's, it's something that I look at. I look at them every single night. And for some reason, it brings me a lot of peace. Um, thank you so much for your card. That was very thoughtful of you. Next is a subscription box that I honestly do not show enough. And for a while, I was showing you guys just a ton of tea subscriptions. I'll be honest, they're not my most popular videos. They're, I love making them. They're my favorite to just sit here and drink tea and chat. But I don't think that was exactly what you guys all wanted to see. So I still wanted to open this and I figured that because it is something so easy to go through that we could do it together right now. Um, so this is called myteabox.ca. And um, yes, it is a Canadian brand. It's also a woman-owned brand. And the tea that is curated for each month is very on season. So this is going to be for the month of June. And I already see like something that I know that I must have. Peach Pleasure. With all the fuzzy yummy we love, it has apple pieces, rosehip pieces, hibiscus, peach, chamomile petals. This one is a no caffeine. So they do a pretty good selection of like no caffeine, low caffeine, medium caffeine. Not a whole lot of high caffeine in this box. And this one's a bit more of like, it's called a fruit tea. So it's really, um, I believe the correct word is tisane. So it's more of like a fruit infusion of water. So even people that aren't, that if you're a tea lover, then I think you just naturally fit into liking this kind of thing. But even if you aren't a tea lover or you don't want any caffeine at all, like these types of teas are um, really good for that. That smells so so dang good. It's really reasonably priced. I think after my discount, it's like $16 or something per month. I will be sure that I have the link and the code down below. When you use the code, it's not off of the first box. It's off. It automatically applies to every box thereafter so that you would always be at that price. The next one that I want to get is Juicy Watermelon. A straight up watermelon. How? And then the last one in here is kind of like a week of mine. It's a caramel black tea blend. So this one's the medium caffeine and it's black tea, calendula petals, sunflower petals. And then we of course have like the caramel in there as well. About every like three boxes that you get from um, my teabox.ca, there's like a little bonus item in there. Like I've gotten those um, green tea hearts, you get like different types of steepers. Sometimes you get like a bonus flavor of tea to try. This one reminds me of um, Tiger's Eye from Adagio that Tammy sent me. By the time this video goes up, I'm actually going to be in Chicago and I know that's where she lives. So I'm gonna have to message her and see if she wants to like have a tea or a coffee or tell us where to go to eat an amazing dinner because her Instagram is filled. If you are like into food porn at all, I'll leave her Insta down. She travels around the city. She lives like the best food life. Okay, so that is myteabox.ca. Now let's go into something from like a subscriber. It's decorated so cutely. This is from Heather Thomas. And I knew that I was going to have to be on the lookout for a Young Living box. I used to sell Young Living essential oils. Of course, I don't do that anymore. It smells really good in here. It is literally looks like a little subscription box. Heather, you might have a little hand in that. Maybe you should do that. First up, this is from a little handmade. It's handmade. It's from a little shop. Yeah, you can also find them on Etsy. It's called Pink Giraffe Beauty Productions. That there is uh, the Upper Peninsula. So Michigan is, if you're unaware, Michigan's divided into two parts. The Lower Peninsula is where I live, close to Metro Detroit. The Upper Peninsula is way up there. This is a very UPER or UP type thing is to have like a really um, solid mug because it's always cold up there. So you're always drinking something hot. Green tea and lemongrass, that's what it is. This is a soy 
based candle and it even says that this little mug food safe microwave safe dishwasher safe so as soon as I'm done burning the candle in here I can use this for my espresso shots hi hi hello Chrissy <laughs> Aww. oh you live in the UP and you have two girls we own a small family restaurant in Gladstone called Delona. If I ever, I'm going to make it up there. It's a breakfast place and we'd love for you to visit us one day. Ah, uh, I was so excited putting this box together. Goodies from the UPA. That's, oh, kidding, I'm from California. I don't talk like that, but I do live up here. I would never live anywhere else. We've lived up here for 11 years. It's so beautiful and the people are nice. They are. Uh, I'm sending you a themed box because I know how much you love them and the theme is youper stuff. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so then we have um, a magnet here, the land above the bridge, and then Michigan, and you can see it's all connected with just a bridge right there. I'm collecting like Michigan uh, magnets for my fridge actually, so um, one of my other subscribers, Natasha, started it by sending me one and then now that's what I look for <laughs> a little Michigan magnet a little corkscrew a wine bottle opener and this is from the brand or this is from Lee's Garden and Winery which must be up there I'm guessing um, but when you open it up you slide the little thing in here and then this is your twisty in case you guys have never seen like a corkscrew like that before this magnet too this says what happens in the UP stays in the UP it is kind of a thing so this is from Escanaba Michigan and this is Sakelias, I think is how you pronounce it. And they look like turtles, but like different because they have cashews. Oh, this one has pecans. Oh, these two have pecans and these two are cashews. Oh, I know what I'm eating in a second. Oh, and here's the information for that brand. Two cashew snappies and two pecan snappies. Oh, hold on, there's another thing in here. Peach rings. This is such a cute story too. In 1906, a young Lebanese immigrant named Joseph Sakely opened a shop on Ludington Street in Escanaba. Together with his wife, Mary, and their nine children, they made the Sakely's confectionery and gifts into a thriving local landmark. I did not know that this was like a thing. Then we have an April's Custom Bath Bomb. Holy hell, it smells awesome. Mango Paradise Bath Bomb. Look at how freaking massive. I have to put the information for each of the brands like I do for all of the other boxes and stuff down below as well. So if you do see something that you'd like to kind of just take a peek at online, you could, with a lot of these, you can you can order online and have it shipped over to you. This next. This is from Kylie Grace Studios. Be silly, be fun, be different, be crazy, be you, because life is too short to be anything but happy. I hope you love your custom shirt. I do! <laughs> It's the Upper Peninsula, but it's like mermaid scaled, like mermaid tail um, all the way across. And it's a v-neck. Love that. This Bella canvas honestly is the best fabric brand ever. And you can rip the tags off really easily. And it says on the back, good vibes only. In the same like kind of print too. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is so stinking cute. This is, it's called Uper Fire Starters. I've never seen this before. So this is like what it looks like. It's a toilet paper roll, but it's soaked in something. It's like completely hard now, like a wax or an accelerant or something. But look at it's all like recycled material because we recycled this and we have shreds of paper in there. Fire starters are made by the employees at Lake State Industries here in Delta County. Founded in 1969, Lake State began as an outgrowth of a parents group concerned with the lack of opportunities available for people with disabilities. Their focus is has been giving persons with disabilities the opportunities to experience the reward of working for real pay while removing barriers to employment and promoting community inclusion. The instructions, they're in like you per talk. Place the starter under the wood or item to burn. Light one end of the starter until the shredded paper starts to burn. The fire starter will burn just about 15 to 20 minutes. And it is wax, shredded paper, and cardboard rolls. Literally all of it is recycled materials. I didn't notice my camera turned off, so I hope I didn't really miss anything. Next up, we have Uper nuts, and uh, we have the cinnamon roasted almonds and cinnamon roasted cashews, and they're made by nuts. And then we have Love in the UP, Where Life Begins, and this is by Cat's Unique Boutique. I got one of these in a subscription box, and it's like this washcloth or dish rag or whatever you want to use it for that you can use nine months or something straight. And they're washable, they're reusable, durable, absorb 16 times its weight, lasts more than six months, it says. And it's um, made with 70% cellulose and 30% cotton, but it's like super duper 
tough but like when you get it wet it just becomes like an actual like what melted washcloth i think there's information on this actually this is um a shop owned by her mom cat unique boutique they specialize in up essential oil stainless steel pendants car diffusers jewelry school logo charms designs for men women teens they have like a whole lot of different things they do retail wholesale and fundraising this was such a fun box and it's so exciting that it was themed thank you so much heather for putting this together this was absolutely insane okay next up i have two packages here from untitled designs um in case you didn't know untitled designs is the brand that i use to um, host all of my merch so they are artists themselves so it's austin and heather they're an lgbtqia plus brand i just ordered a sweatshirt from them hang on it's here it's super duper soft they can custom make any design for you as well so they literally custom make all of my designs so they sent over a box i'm guessing that this might be something that's new on the website they come up with collections all the time but this one is called the parental advisory collection so i'm assuming that things are going to be <laughs> sassy yes they are hilariously sassy with their stickers and <laughs> dick wad and it's a iridescent balloon animal that's hilarious a new mask Ooh, they're comfy give a damn and we have some of their um like makeup bag clutches i don't know i kind of use these for a little bit of everything 100 that bitch and it's on both sides manifest that shit and this is their black canvas version of it also on both sides and a great way to come at life it says carpe fucking diem that's fun and then there's another one another collection that they just came out with these are their art sticks all of their stickers that they sell on their site you can wash them you can put them on the back window of your car like they're not gonna come off. I put them on my bongs. I put them on my water bottles. I'm literally never had one fade or lift. So they're like super durable. This one says might be, this is true actually, might be makeup, might be snacks. You don't actually know what I'll have in here. I actually probably will hide snacks in there. Blending is my cardio. Oh, and all of this launched on June 1st. So this is actually a, a really relatively new collection. And we have the makeup has no rules t-shirt as well. But like I was showing you with my um, hoodie, there's a, an entire pride collection out as well and uh, the best thing honestly that you can do is not what I did initially where I went and bought pride merch from Target a huge corporation that doesn't give a shit about anything other than their public image but instead you should be supporting LGBTQIA plus brands and especially small businesses so that is one untitled designs is one that I will always recommend to you guys and then another one hang on let me grab it the other one is this book called being found and uh, it's by Aaron Richard so he wrote this book he tried to get a publisher to publish it and they agreed if they if he changed and made the main character straight so that it would of course appeal to a broader audience right I'm straight and um, this book totally appeals to me so I don't really understand that thought process so much but also for LGBTQIA plus people in general there's not enough representation for them in modern culture this is one of those books that um it's a really good book too it's so well written it's easy to follow but also challenging because you have to think a lot and it's very creative so it opens up ideas on like different ways that our world works there's aliens like you still have like a little bit of hope and happiness and love and also hurt and anguish and fear and like it's literally one of those books that just kind of does everything so I'll have this link down below for you as well if you buy it from his website then he signs it which is the best <laughs> in my opinion like I said I like to collect books that that people sign it's also available on Amazon um, but it's a damn good book so I do encourage you to support minority owned businesses just in general and not the corporations which I do need to be better at and I need to ditch Amazon we're gonna do this one that has a made in Canada sticker on it. Okay, so the first thing that we have in here is a deluxe macaroni and cheese box, and this is President's Choice. Is there a note? I don't see a note in here, I don't think. Um, okay, then we have something in here that says, these two boxes are our sweet treat box, our monthly subscription box, number one. Number one, there's like a number on this one as well, and then it's like a mystery. <laughs> it's a whole mystery here. 
This is the Stoner Girl Box. Should I save this? Um, I'm gonna save that. So expect to see this as like a dedicated video over on my cannabis channel. If you're into that type of content at all, cannabis stoner subscription boxes are the freaking bees and knees. Next up, I have a package here that came in PR from one of my favorite cosmetic brands and it's called Nasty Woman Cosmetics. Oh my God, there's nail polish in here. <gasps> this one's also going to have to be a dedicated review in another um, unboxing so that I can do like try on every single one of the lipsticks. So I've only ever tried their lip products before and they're freaking amazing. So when Jeffree Star was at his like all time high with people like waiting for launches and then selling out of shit real quick, that's about the time when I was like really into Nasty Woman Cosmetics and I also bought a bunch of the Jeffree Star launches and um, there's no comparison. Nasty Woman's leaps and bounds over Jeffree Star. Like tell me I don't love this brand. <laughs> this one's called ZFG. So this one's more of like a nude ZFG like zero fucks given. There's an eyeshadow brush in here. Cream lipstick. This one's in the shade Sanctuary. Oh my god that opened up so pretty. Yes. Oh my god I'm like sweaty. That's a new fave color of mine. Okay, um, I love how it's like studded. It's like faux leather and studded. This is a brand that um, is very uh, with their name. So Nasty Woman um, Cosmetics, they fight for political justice for women and minorities and they fight real hard and it's admirable and it's amazing. All right, so then this is their Unbossed palette. We have a new transition shade. We have um, outer corner shades, inner corner shades. This is or high, you could even use this as like a highlighting shade right here on the end. And then this one is called Oh Honey. Oh my God, I love these. Oh, that's a nice red. And then there's a couple more. I'm going to have to, this is going to be a video too. I could do an entire makeup look. Their um, site is Nasty Woman Lip Gloss. I'll have it down below. You guys really should check it out. It's the best lip products ever. I haven't touched their nail polish or eyeshadow yet, but like I already know their standard. So I feel like they're going to be absolutely amazing. Two more boxes. <laughs> you guys still with me? So this next one is from Your Nail Lab. And uh, this was sent to my P.O. box and I don't really know anything about it. So let's see if we can figure it out. It's called Your Monthly Nail Box by McCart. M-A-K-A-R-T-T. -T. I know that that's a fairly popular brand. I just don't know anything about it. Hey babe, this is a curated box of McCart products from our nail stylist that we hope you'll love. This is interesting. We have nail extension gel or like basically a poly gel. That one is clear. This one is red. Then we have, oh, these are freaking cool. They're nail decals, but they're pressed dried flower designs. And then of course we have like a good kit of rhinestones and it looks like they're in all sorts of different sizes. It came with um, a pair of those tweezer style tongs so you can actually pick up all of those little rhinestones and such. This is called Aw. Awesome, A-W-S-M, and this is in the shade Girl Boss. Is this like a use with UV or LED curing lamp? Oh, so these are like a gel. This one is in Billionaire. Like such a nice nude to have. Action, I don't know anything about this brand. And then Slay, which looks like it's just going to be kind of like a burnt red. Stuffy handheld nail drill machine. <laughs> be careful with these, I bought a nail drill machine. Well, I'm definitely getting the hang of it now did not get the hang of it for quite some time. There's like a tray to hold onto your machine, like so when it's in use. This is very heavy and like heavy duty. It comes with a cord with the power on off and then there's like an adjuster on the side here. And then it comes with the grinding tools. All of these ones on the top are going to remove your color and grind shit down quickly. And then all these on the bottom are going to be a little bit more fine tuning mini curator mini usb curing lamp so this is just a it's like a little tiny travel one but i like that it folds up into itself let's i want to take a peek at this online i didn't know that there was like a nail a gel and poly nail subscription box i've never heard of this before oh dang that drill is like 43 bucks okay i don't actually think this is a subscription box i think it may be called one of their starter kits if i can figure that out i will let you know there's no other details about it in here so it's just a mystery. This one is from Alicia Mongold, who is, um, I would consider her a friend of mine now. <laughs> I feel like we chat an awful lot on Instagram. This one came all the way from Florida, and it says Happy Mother's Day on the front. So that was super sweet. Weed mom, like a regular mom, only way higher. <laughs> it says Happy Mother's Day on the back. Oh my god. <gasps> you guys. It's Phoebe. 
Okay, so look, it's a vase, right? It's disguised like a vase. It is just an absolutely gorgeous work of art for a bong. And it comes with, oh, it's bowl attached to a down stem right there. Isn't that the most beautiful thing? These pieces are just, they're like the types of bongs that you work for, you work towards getting because they're just absolutely beautiful and unique. That's insane. There are so many amazing things in here. Something for the dogs. Oh, Alexa. No, they're dog treats for dogs. You were just trying to give something to Daisy. Yeah. So I figured you might want to give her that. Yeah. Ah, she's going to love it. We have chili roasted pistachios. Snacks. Do I lead on that much that I love food? <laughs> that I love snacks? Big Bite Millionaires pecans and honey caramel in milk chocolate. Honey caramel just recently became a thing of mine. I found Stroop waffles that were filled with honey caramel and they're better than normal ca caramel and they're better than just honey. Honey caramel is a thing. Cow tails. This is like such a box of happiness. Tea dippity, set the mood and fall in love. Lemongrass, ginger, lemon. Oh my God, when I'm sick, this is what I'm going to have to use. Candies. This is wrapped and it's kind of heavy and I'm, if I'm gonna play the guessing game, I'm gonna say it's a candle. It's more food. <laughs> Savory tomato jam. I've literally have never even considered tomato jam. That sounds amazing. This is so awesome. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, another tea dippity. This one is chocolate strawberry. Holy hell, that one sounds freaking amazing. This is the type of shit I freaking am obsessed with. Just like Heather's box. It's just a whole bunch of things from small like local brands. So this is family owned and operated. There's a picture of Ed Creamer there on the front and it's Ed's Red's hot sauce. Oh, and it comes from our hometown. And it's a thing. Whenever we travel, my husband comes home with a hot sauce from the destination in which we traveled to. Um, even when we were down in Nashville, or not Nashville, we were down in um, Pigeon Forge, he found a little like shop that only did hot sauces. There are seriously so many fun things in here. This is absolutely wild. Um, the pocket bacterials from Bath and Body Works, Pretty in Pink is phenomenal. Sorry I'm late. I haven't I haven't ever smelled. And then Ghoul Friend, which I don't think I've tried that. I've not smelled that one either, but I have a feeling because it has skulls on it that my daughter's going to try to steal it from me. Loud Lacquer Nail Polish. If you uh, if you don't know what Loud Lacquer is, the way that I got introduced to it, and it's like one of those top seven or top nine or something free brains as well, is Bailey Sarian did a collab with Loud Lacquer like a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And it, had, it was like a collection of four different colors. She's done another collection since then, I think a four more more colors. This one in particular is for nail at nail.ovarian.cancer. I'm gonna have to look that up. This one's called Buddy Bands and I believe it, it is in collaboration with ovarian cancer research survivors and all of that and it's a freaking beautiful color too. Loud Lacquer Nail Polish has the absolute best brush. I freaking love a flat brush like that and it's like tapered into half moon shape at the edge at the bottom so you can actually get all the way down to your cuticles without puddling everything into your cuticles. Okay, let's go into this thing. Tupelo honey! I use so much honey. Um, Main Street Market, so this is in Chipley, Florida. I think I'm on the very last thing in here, which will also be the very last thing in the entire video. And I'm sad that it's over already. I think we've been sitting here together for at least a half an hour, but I'm already sad that it's done. Main Street Market Muscadine. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> Muscadine jam, and this is also from Chipley, Florida. Deceited Muscadines. Lemon juice and pectin. What the heck is a... Echo. What's a Muscadine? Muscadine is a noun meaning a grape. Okay, so it's a type of grape from the southern regions of the United States, so it's definitely something that I have never tried. For some reason, the word muscadine sounded like a type of fish, but I knew it wasn't going to be fish jam, but it sounded like fish. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. Just like, wow. <laughs> I don't know. I, honestly, I don't even know what else to say um, besides thank you. Go ahead and um, check out the description box down below. I'm going to have all of the brands that I can find, all of their links and all of their information down below for you guys. Support small businesses, support minority owned businesses as well, support local businesses, which even you guys did in the boxes that you sent me and the products that you sent me. Why am I going to cry about it? Um, you supported local and that's freaking awesome. It really is. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. And um, I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye.